Is that a new outfit? Looking good today. We've got amazing collectible news today. First up, we've got new sets from Remint. First is this Aqua Bottle Collection. Really unique collection here, and I just love it because, like, especially, look at this Whale Lord. It looks amazing. Like, just the water being captured in there, and like, just, this whole thing's an awesome collection, and I think I might want to pick it up just for that Whale Lord. This set comes out December 5th. If you want something a little bit more for the spooky season, we do have the Midnight Mansion that's coming out from Remint. This collection all pieces together to make like this like haunted house or mansion, if you will. But it is just the four figures here, so kind of given that it's like a whole gimmick of putting them together, I get it. And this one comes out December 23rd. So you're missing spooky season just slightly, but you have it for the next one. And we'll also be getting the Happiness Wreath Collection. This one also is releasing on December 23rd and could be really good for more like a springtime vibe, you know, because that season's coming back around pretty quick. And if I can get links to any of these, I'll make sure to have them down in the description, as well as most of the other things we discuss in the video. Next up, Lily fans, rejoice. We've got new statues featuring Lily. So two statues here. The first one is Lily and Cosmog, or Nebi, if you've watched the anime, but these are made by Koto Bikia. They always make fantastic statues. This first one is scheduled to release on October, 2023. So you got like a whole year to wait but really great looking statue. It comes in about 8.4 inches tall, as well as running about $112 USD on the current exchange rate. And the other Lily statue is Lily with Clefairy, her other iconic Pokemon here. Also made by Kotobukiya and also costing around $112 current exchange rate. This one will be shipping November 2023, coming in at 7.6 inches tall, so just slightly shorter. These ones I do have pre-order links through Mega Japan, that's who I always use. I have no affiliation, but I will have links down there for you if you want to pick them up. Talking about some more unique items, we've got new Pokemon, official Pokemon engagement rings. Now usually you treasure comes out with all of the Pokemon jewelry, but these ones Pokemon has collaborated with a different company. They come in three different finishes and are customizable, so you can get different engravings. Additionally, you get this ring box and it's in the shape of a Pokeball and just looks fantastic. Like I really wish I could buy just the ring box separately because it just looks that good. So if you're looking to propose or you just want to buy a ring for yourself, I'll have links down below for that. We also have our first plushies of Origin Dialga and Origin Palkia coming out. We'll also be getting Origin Form Giratina and Enamorous. These are going to be coming out on the Japanese Pokemon Center, and usually plushies that look like this do come out on the English Pokemon Center. So if you want to import them, it's kind of up to you. Do it at your own risk, discretion. I don't know. Just want to make sure you're aware. Along with those, there are also going to be these Hisuian keychains. They're going to be coming out on the 17th and could pair well with the plushies, but it's kind of funny to me that we're getting all this Hisuian stuff like eight months after Legends Arceus came out, but better late than never. On the English Pokemon Center, we have this new Take Flight collection, which is a pretty cool collection. It's all kind of like sort of tie-dye, but it's uh, supposed to be based off of like clouds or like the sky. Take Flight. Makes sense. So there's a lot of like silhouettes, line art with famous like mythical legendary Pokemon. Looks really good. All sorts of different styles that you can choose from. So those are up on Pokemon Center right now on a similar vein, kind of side note to the Pokemon Center. Pokemon has also collaborated with a Japan LA and made these new spirit jerseys that are all Pokemon themed, obviously. And they look really great. Uh, they do have a decent selection of popular Pokemon. They do cost 80 bucks, so heads up, but I feel like that's pretty standard right now. But I mean, I'm comparing it to Disney spirit jerseys. So like, I mean, both gigantic brands but they're pretty comparable. Up on the English Pokemon Center, they also added the Quick Ball from the Wand Company. Similar to all of the other ones that they've released up until now, uh, but just now this one looks like a Quick Ball, so it's a great design. Uh, it's up on the site for $99.99 US, but also typically GameStop does put stuff like this up on sale months down the line, so if you're a little bit hesitant to pay full price, like, this isn't advice by any means, but it could be on discount later on. If it's not like the limited run, like the Master Ball, like usually they hang around for a bit. The Jazzwares 2022 Advent Calendar is up on Amazon, so I'll link that down below for you. It's a collection that comes with 24 pieces in it. 16 of them are actually like Pokemon. The other eight are accessories like trees, presents, stuff you can like put around the Pokemon to make like a whole scene. Looks like they have that metallic sheen though on the figures, so just kind of heads up if you're not into that. I'm a, it's a little hit and miss for me. We also got a confirmation that Costco is going to be stocking the four-pack Funko Pops. The first box is going to feature Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon all in one pack. We did see this kind of like teased in a leak a while back that there was a four-pack coming. So it all kind of makes sense to me to have it at Costco. But now we're just going to need to see if these are the figures that we've already seen released, like the plain ones, or if they're going to be like a different material, different pose. 
that we're gonna have to wait to see. And one of my favorite bits of news this past week, I, well, I actually did a reaction to the trailer that was released for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but during that time, they also released details and visuals, and most importantly, around the new Nintendo Switch OLED Scarlet and Violet edition. This thing just, it looks amazing to me. Love seeing all of the colors on the back, like, because the original one was just like the black and white silhouettes. Now we've got like the red, the violet, it looks so good. And on the dock, the dock's white, and ugh, with the purple and the red looks so good on the white. And there's currently a listing up on the Amazon UK site. Amazon does ship worldwide, but I, the shipping fees may vary. They might not be there. So at your own discretion, I will have that down there for you if you want to make sure you're getting this product. But as the US pre-orders do come out, I'll make sure to tweet about that and post up on the YouTube channel and of course put it in these videos. But jumping over to the mobile games really quick, Pokemon Go, we got confirmation on what the next community day is. It's gonna be Rog and Rolla. So on September 18th, when you evolve your Rog and Rolla all the way up to Gigalith, you're gonna learn the new move to Pokemon Go, Meteor Beam. So I'm not sure exactly how relevant this is gonna make Gigalith to the meta of like the PVP stuff, the raids, but my assumption would be that it's gonna be more of a viable rock attacker in raids. The big bonuses though for Community Day are going to be the quarter hatch distance, two times catch candy, two times chance for XL candy if you're over level 31, and extra special trade and trade costs will be 50% less on the Stardust during the event. Let me know if you're excited about this one down in the comments. And for some reason, the next two research breakthroughs were released in the game. I don't know why, but for October, Shedinja is going to be your seven day bonus for doing research along with an incense as a bonus item. In November, we'll be getting Starmie and a star piece as a bonus item. And currently for September, we have Metacham and a premium raid pass. So like, it's cool that we're getting the raid passes. Metacham has some relevance in PVP, but I'm just not sure what like the other two really serve a purpose for. I appreciate the free items though, but I just wish the Pokemon were like more useful for something, you know? But if you do want something useful and you're also an Amazon Prime member, go into Prime Gaming and pick up your new bundle for Pokemon Go. This is bundle nine and it features 20 Ultra Balls, five Max Revives, and one Premium Raid Pass. And these bundles, like for technically free, no additional cost, they've been pretty good. So thanks, Daddy Bezos. And for my Pokemon Unite players, hop into the game and enter this code when you go into the daily events and into the gift exchange. That code is gonna get you some temporary boosts, some temporary licenses, as well as the Blissey outfit, all for free. I have no idea when that code expires though, so jump on it, like right now. Jumping into the core games of Sword and Shield, we have more proof around the Shiny Eternatus promo at GameStop. So this card has popped up on the internet, it's going around. We'll find out as time progresses if this is real, but it's looking pretty solid. So the promo should be running from September 18th to October 1st. And as far as I've seen in all of these leaks, it's just for the US. But if you are outside of the US, inside Europe specifically, you have the opportunity to get the legendary Pokemon Volcanion, Marsh Shadow, and Genesect all with one code. So if your country has stores like GameStop, Game, Micromania, or Game Mania, run over to those stores, pick one up. Again, this is just for Europe. This is not for the US. And these Pokemon are not shiny, so just heads up there. But it is the first time that these Pokemon have been made available on the games in like a lot of years. If you're missing these Pokemon, it's a great chance to get them into the Pokedex. But either way, it would be pretty sweet to have. So if anybody wants to like hook a guy up, or if you want to go trade these on that shiny Eternatus, let me know. There could be a little bit of a delay though. Sometimes there's like a couple week delay on these things coming to the US, so like don't panic yet. But if you are looking for free Pokemon right now, got you covered. Hop on to your Sword and Shield game and put in this code to get yourself Ashes Surfetched. It is a Japanese Pokemon and this code is good until September 22nd. So you have time, but also don't delay. And just in case it's your first time here, or maybe you delayed on getting Ashes Gengar, here's Ashes Gengar's code as well for you. But Ashes Gengar is only good until the 15th, so hurry. Then moving into cards, you still might want to hop over to GameStop, even though like there's not currently a promotion going on, because Lost Origin just came out this past week, in case you somehow missed it, but they are doing a promotion there where if you spend $15, they'll give you this promo card of Hisuian Zoroark, and even though the official Twitter account of the Pokemon TCG tweeted out a way cooler image looking of the card, this is the card that we'll be getting, just the plain red GameStop logo stamp on the corner. It's not like super cool, but I still want it as a holographic, as a promo. And over in the UK, if you go into your GameStop, they're actually gonna give you a Jumbo Giratina V-Star, which I think I prefer that one. I don't know, looks pretty cool. 
This past week, the Infernape V-Box also became available. Not sure how many people are really hunting this down right now. I feel like this is a, like an underwhelming box for a lot of people, but I've always enjoyed Furnape, so like I'm definitely gonna be picking up a box or two. And last week, the pre-orders opened up for the Arceus V-Star Premium Collection, which turns out is actually an exclusive to GameStop. GameStop, very popular this past week. Comes out on December 16th and will cost $99.99 US. Inside, we'll have 15 packs of cards, one metal Arceus V card, one metal Arceus V star card, a playmat, metal coin, metal damage, counter dice, acrylic V star marker, and a code card. So I will have the link down below, but just heads up, it was on pre order. Like, you might want to be checking back just in case it's out of stock right now. More exciting news, though, is the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. We got to look at the promo cards that come inside, they're pretty good. They've definitely gone completely against the grain here, and I just love it because the art available on these cards is top tier. And while personally I kind of hate all the hype that Charizard has around it, I think this time it's pretty justified. They really went over the top here. But then just seeing them nail it with this collection, like, I, like well, we should get one for the other hundreds of other Pokemon that are out there. But the Charizard one will be coming out on October 28th, and MSRP is $119.99. So just be mindful of that when you're out there trying to get one. Also last week we got a look at the promo card that comes with Scarlet and Violet when you pre-order it in Japan. This is kind of like a Pikachu and Friends type of card where Pikachu is with the Paldean starters. And again, just top tier art here, so good. And if you want to pre-order from Japan, I will also have a link down there to Mecha Japan who, again, I order from them quite often and they will be able to hook you up with all of the pre-order bonuses in Japan. And yes, the cartridges do work anywhere in the world. The Switch is not region locked. The games are not region locked, so like you're good to go. Just the box art, it's gonna be in Japanese. If you wanna check out reviews of Mega Japan, I do have videos from there where I've opened up a lot of figures from them. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe, duh. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you're doing well. Throw your favorite emoji down in the comments. Take care of each other out there, and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.